Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay only in the purest of white light and highest of vibrational energy. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. Anything your enemy has gained off of your energy, anything that's stolen from you, it is taken from them. It is being returned to you. It is returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's find out what our advice, our angel message from the universe is today, okay? It says, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you are clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and create a place for abundance. I am abundant. Okay? And you absolutely are. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here in this tarot reading today. I hope you all are doing blessed, staying blessed in favor because you are highly favored collective. We have the king of source out here. So you have someone that may be going through some type of ending because they interfere or worked with a queen of wands in the background of you that you may not have been aware of. These people's plan was to have your life in shambles take you out both of these people might be practitioners this is like the angel of death when it comes to witchcraft this is someone that is highly highly skilled okay he's used to being able to take down his prey you know this is someone people come to to get the job done and maybe someone came up against you and you're highly protected so they weren't able to this man's plan was to come in and befriend you because you know what all of them have been doing things behind the scenes and it just hasn't been working. So he and his partner, she's a little bit more of a brute. He's a brute himself, but he decided that he was going to take the emotional route. As in play with your emotions, play with your mental. Make you think that you two are friends or he's genuinely uh, interested in working with you, being your friend and things of that nature. This man don't care. This man's too dope benefit in some way but uh because of your downfall so if he would have defeated you someone would have benefited immensely from your defeat but he was unable to okay and he won't be able to either someone's plan was to just butter you up because there's something where it's like if you feel these people succeed if they feel you succeed but you've already already succeeded it's that whatever plan they had in place for you has already been dismantled by the spirit realm they're just like nope it's that you're it's that you, you have some type of plan and you're going towards it to take action and immediately there's some type of interjection that you weren't expecting so someone is putting an end to maybe his partnership with a privileged lady behind the scenes because the both of them are going through endings or this woman is going through some type of ending this queen of wands out here as well there is something with her wanting to have what belongs to another person, whether this is a, 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 a property, a place, a thing, whether this is a relationship, this woman wants to have what belongs to someone else, but she cannot. She's going through some type of ending herself. This is like someone wanting you to be homeless, but she's being homeless. Someone may be being put out of a home as well. Someone is being excommunicated by an organization. Uh, this could be like the... I don't know if this is a COVID, some, type, some um, organization that she worked for. They may be putting her out or disowning her. Maybe she's even losing a job, something of that nature. But someone is having to move on. And this is balance being brought into a situation. Someone may be thinking, maybe coming into your energy and bringing... 
some type of disingenuous friendship offer to you is going to bring balance into the situation but that's not how it's going to play out you and this woman could have been friends before and she betrayed you uh she may have been bad bad mouthing you for some of you that were friends in the past this will be the person that they listen to your problems and then take it to the next year. Or if they don't have enough source about you to share with people, they make up lies. Someone may have told a lot of lies on you to people you were a specific way that you did something to them when you didn't do anything to this person. And she did this because she thought she was going to gain something out of it. Okay. And then on the other hand, yeah, absolutely. This is someone you were friend with from your past. So she may want to now come in and extend a friendship to you but it's not genuine the only reason she's coming in is because she's going through some type of some type of karma and she's trying to block that karma from going all the way through you know when maya comes and knock on your door and you don't want to answer and you think if you don't answer then it means maya is just gonna either stay out there or just go away that's not how it works someone is destined to go through this karma and because uh, she needs to learn. She's going through this karma because she needs to learn. She needs to heal, but she's refusing to. So this is the universe's way of forcing someone to heal. It's not really forcing, but it's just like, you know what? This is the energy you put out, so we have to return it to you. And you have to learn through this experience. So when you come out of it, you'll never, ever consider doing this again to another person because you will remember what you went through and you'll know that you sending that energy to someone means that it's coming back to you and you don't want to go through that again so someone is being humble okay yeah this is a toxic group she could be in some type of toxic connection or the both of them could have been in a toxic connection maybe he's putting an end to him working with her uh maybe he used to give to this woman give some type of money to her resources maybe he was a sugar daddy to this girl this woman whoever this is whatever this is honey i don't know don't get me to lie to you but this this connection this friend group is a toxic one uh-huh these are people that will get together and plot other people endings let's say you have spiritual gifts like myself they don't like the fact that you're spiritually gifted, but the irony is that they want to have your spiritual gifts. So they're bothered by who you are, what you are, but they want to be you at the same time. Make it make sense. It's not. There's a religious character in here that is absolutely uh, bothered by the fact that someone has spiritual gifts. They think that you are unholy. I'm telling you, they think that you are unholy. Um... So they feel like it's their mission, it's their purpose to take you down. But every time they take some type of action against you, someone either gets sick or something happens, okay? You are being freed from some type of situation. Whatever your enemies were planning for you, it is <laughs> helping you in a way. This is how it goes sometimes. They will plot for you, plot and plot and plot and plot. And every action they take, they don't realize in the grand scheme of things, they're really just helping you. So someone rejecting you and leaving you out in the cold is enabling you to remove yourself from some type of toxic situation or environment. You are being free from bondage, basically. Okay? You are being set free. And these people's plan the whole time was to bind you to some type of unholy contract to them or to a specific character behind the scene. They were going to force some type of closure to take place between you and a parent uh, and an energy that's been trying to destroy you make it make sense someone has been going out of their way to destroy your future destroy your connections with people setting things up to make it look like it what is not trying to make something look like what it's not they said taking a, a earth angel and making them look like a devil right they said this person is not who they put themselves out to be this is someone that's bipolar. This is someone that's unstable. This is someone that's manipulative. But the whole time, everything they're saying about you is what they are. So they are projecting all of their negative energies onto you. This is what's going on. Okay? And they're going through some type of karma behind the scenes. And it's something very, very hard that they're going through someone did not expect for things to go the way they are going it said basically because they lost against you they are losing everything so they may be trying to force some some type of reconciliation between you and them um but it's not happening someone is going to have to move on right because of how far the extent they were willing to go to destroy you and this will be something that's coming up you know like i'm telling you someone is burdened about all the illusions they caused 
and someone else is burdened because you have a lot of opportunities coming in. They've done everything to block your pathway. The other, we have to make sure this person does not succeed. If two people are meant to come together, they say, we got to make sure these two do not come together. And all of these illusions have led to nothing but burdens for them. And it's even giving you more opportunities. If you are someone that's spiritual or just someone that does the right thing, you're not out here being, being malicious and things like that. Honey, you have so many blessings and abundances coming your way. It is ridiculous. And they know that. They know that. And the sad part is that they also know that their friendships they're offering you is not genuine. They're not genuine. Someone knows that you see right through them. So them even coming towards you is like, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. Because it's that you're coming into someone's energy and they know what you are about. But you still want to come anyway. For what? Why are you wasting your time? It's that you know exactly what someone is about. You know they're a practitioner. You know they're disingenuous. You know they don't give two SHIT about you. So why are they forcing it? And that's because they, stu they stand to lose a lot. Someone played a stupid game. They won, won a stupid prize. Now they don't want the prize. No. This is the energy you put out there. You have to take your prize. No one else wants it. I know the collective doesn't want it. So what what do you think is going to happen? You got to take it. You got to take it. Okay, you got to take it. You have a, a, a blessing coming your way that people want you to, to uh, uh, reject. And it's because of the energy that is coming from. They're like, oh, well, she's probably going to reject him. He's going to reject him or her because they know what this person did. This person betrayed you heavily in the... In the um, uh, behind the scenes, um, they used to speak ill of you, talk down about you, all kinds of stuff. They blocked your forward movement, blocked opportunities from coming to you. So you know all of that. So we already know you're going to reject this person. So they're already counting on you to make a make the bad move, make a wrong move. And even if you don't make the wrong move, they all have another plan to send someone uh, um, deceitful into your energy to get you to... To get things complicated, a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Okay? So someone is going to come with a true offer and someone with a bad offer. And someone is going to come in your energy with a mask on. Okay? But you're going to see right through this person. Absolutely. Right through this person. <clears throat> okay? I'm telling you. You are being free. You are set. You are being set free. I feel like I need to make that the title of the video. I don't have my pen or pencil paper to write that down, so I'll probably forget to name it that. You are being set free, okay? Someone had a really horrendous plan, and someone, because they were, high, they were hired to do you something and they were not able to do it, it became something very personal for them. They see you, I don't know if they, they were seeing you in like a Queen of Cups energy or something like that. So they thought you were easy to just tremble over, flip on the side, you know, like move over. I'll take care of her. She's nothing. This is easy peasy, a piece of cake. And then they came into your energy and were met with this. They came in, they came around you and were met with this. This person was trying to destroy you repeatedly time after time they were sending energy playing mental games and things like that and you knew the whole time and you were just looking at them like the clown they were it's like really this is all you do this is all you do like how old are you grow up you sat back and you let someone make a fool out of themselves and they didn't realize the whole time that you were aware that you were aware so they're burdened they're embarrassed living in shame because someone had their someone is a narcissist their ego had them out here oh yeah i have this down pat i have this down pat when i strike this heifer, this heifer is going to be out i bet you she'll never be up again i bet you he'll never be up again when i'm done with him when i'm done with her and then they went to take action against you and immediately they were stopped in their track so they're going through some type of ending they're wanting to put an end to your stability, your resources, your independence. Someone does not like the fact that you are independent. They want you to be someone that's a leech. They want you to have to depend on other people for your livelihood. 
but source does not have it set up that way. Someone wants you to be a leech because you know what? The people that are around them are leeches. So they want to put an end to your independence. They don't like the fact that you are a woman that takes care of yourself. You're not out here begging people for help. Someone tried to set up some type of scenario where you would ask them for help just so you could be bonded to them. Just so you could be bonded to them. But it didn't go that way. They were sitting back and waiting for that phone call. Any minute now, he's going to call, she's going to call to ask me for assistance. Honey, they kept looking at their phone. Burdened the whole time. Any minute now, any day now. They've been waiting. And collective, the fact that you serve the most high God, source of all that is and will ever be, you will never have to go to the devil begging for help. Never. That is not your portion in life. I'm telling you, you are secure. That is not your portion in life. You are secure. Okay? You are secure. Your finances are secure. Your abundance secure. Your future secure. Everything that pertains to you is secure. Your livelihood. Honey, you are blessed and highly favored. You are protected. This masculine here, he is committed, honey. He is committed. He is committed to deceit, to rituals. I'm telling you, this is a practitioner I'm looking at. That is a practitioner I am looking at. Okay? That is a practitioner I am looking at. Someone knows that you are abundant, honey. You're gifted, you're skilled, you're talented. You have a lot to offer. You're highly uh, educated, very intellectual. You are like a powerhouse in one. And someone wants to come in a bread and, and, and a bread crumb you, give you less than what you deserve. Have you working your butt off, but giving you pennies. Giving you pennies. And they thought you wouldn't see through all of that. Someone thought you were naive, stupid. And you were easily manipulatable. They're trapped in your head. This is what they wanted for you. They're like, how? He said, how? I've been doing this for years. This is how I trap everybody with me. This is how I, you know, uh, uh, fulfill all of my contracts with my customers. How is it not working with this queen of cups? That's because they only saw one side of you. You showed up every day with happiness on your face, joy, kind-hearted, nurturing. And someone saw that, they saw that one side of you and dismissed everything else Dismiss the, the possibilities of you having any other characteristics to you. They said, oh, that's just a queen of cups. I got it. Leave it to me. Now they're burdened. They're burdened. They are burdened. You best believe there's something going on behind the scenes that you may not be privy to. These people are fighting because they try to take from you unjustly, try to steal from you, steal your future from you, your destiny from you, blocking your work and things like that. You know, sometimes what they'll do, let's say content creators like myself, they'll temper with our platforms so that it doesn't grow like it's supposed to. Because then they want us to feel that we're not good enough. They said, well, if we stagnate their platform and make it look like no one cares, no one's watching, they're never going to grow, they'll give up. No. The reason why we create our platforms is different or different from the reason why you all invest into nonsense. So someone may be thinking, oh, they only got into it for money or for likes and views. No, 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 no. The people that are meant to see those videos, those whatever you all are creating, they're seeing it. So the changes that need to be made in the lives that they are meant to be made in is being done. Okay? So they've gone out of their way trying to block your resources, your incomes, and here you go, stepping out on faith with new opportunities, the endless possibilities ahead of you. And the universe fully supports you. So they can breadcrumb all they want. 
They can keep tempering with your uh, work all they want. But at the end of the day, you're going to get what you want. Your new beginning. You're being set free. I feel like I need to say that repeatedly so I can remember it to make it the title of the video. But you are being set free. And this is judgment by your ancestors, the angels, the host of heavens. The spirit realm has made a decision. You are being set free. You are free to go. And someone does not like that. Because they're bonded to something they can't get out of. They went through the same test, trial, tribulations you went through. And they failed. And someone feels that they need to have you bonded to them. They say, I, I can't let this person go. They don't have a choice. They've been told that you are free to go. You belong to no one. You are free to be. You are free to live. You are free to be you. You don't belong to anyone. And someone is bothered by that. They thought they told people you are easy prey. They would have no problems taking you down. So someone went and gathered a whole lot of different energies to come up against you. A lot of them they didn't even know why they were coming up against you. Some of them are just bitter, bruised, broken. They took their anger out on you, their insecurities out on you. So they made it their mission to take you out. Correct? Now that you're free to go, some of them are going through some type of awakening. They don't know, why was I doing this? Why was I coming after this person? They didn't do anything to me. They're figuring out that they were under some type of illusion the whole time. But then in that group, you have the narcissist, a few of them that want to keep going and they're dismantling their lives. As I'm telling you, they're dismantling their lives as they keep going. Because every action they're taking against you, they're being held accountable for it. By the powers that be. Every action, they are being held accountable. Someone does some type of ritual at night. Yeah. Someone does some type of ritual at night. They wait. She waits. He waits. Till you go to sleep to do their ritual on you. Because someone is pathetic. They're not able to uh, uh, face you while you're awake. They're not able to do anything to you. You're too powerful for someone. So they wait till you go to sleep to do rituals. The rituals are not working, by the way. This is how powerful you are. Even when you're asleep, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. So someone has to wait till you are asleep to do you something and it's still not working. Is I don't want this person to dream, you're still dreaming. I don't want this person to have premonitions, you're still having your visions. I don't want this person to have hope. I don't want this person to have good night's sleep. You're still having everything above and then some. Okay. Someone is not able to come in and breadcrumb you to prevent your new beginning. They're watching you. You have a queen of wands that's watching you. She may want to pick a fight with you. She's losing a lot behind the scenes. Her ego is too much. Her pride. Her It's not even pride because pride can have respect to it. This person has no respect to themselves. This is just someone that's obsessed with another feminine energy. It's disturbing. Just disturbing. But someone is obsessed with you. She wants to have the same knowledge you have. She wants to be you, basically. She wants to come up as being loyal. Like, someone is very karmic and toxic, but they want to be seen as you. So they adapt that energy of yours, even though they don't really know particularly, specifically, what you are or how to be you. So they're trying to mimic you, but they don't have you down pat. It's embarrassing. Meanwhile, you're out here educating yourself, out in the open, learning new things, meeting new people, or this is what's coming up for you. You're, out, you're about to be out in the world experiencing new things, meeting new people. Right. Out in the world. 
right? Out in the world. Sailing on the calmer waters. You are free to be you. You are being set free. And there's nothing anyone can do. Not any demonic creature, creatures. They cannot block you, stop you. It's an illusion. It was an illusion the whole time for these people to think that they have power over you. How are you going to have power over someone when you don't even have power over yourself? And they're all going through some type of ending. This Queen of Swords gives me a practitioner energy. But someone that does it discreetly. She does it from behind the scenes. When she's doing magic, you, you don't know that she's manipulating you to do something you don't want to or something that's going to come back to bite you in the behind. She makes it seem like she's doing you a favor, like she's advocating for you. She's not. She's setting you up. She's setting you up. And people find out too late. They find out when it's too late. By the time they realize what this woman is doing, they're all fighting amongst themselves. And the whole time she's sitting there acting like she don't know what happened, what, what's going on. Okay? So she's going through an ending too. Yeah, this person is disingenuine. She gaslight people. She play with people's emotions. She makes you think that you two are friends and things like that. You're not friends. It's an illusion. Yeah, mask. She's wearing a mask the whole time she's around you. The whole time. The whole time. And people don't know that. She comes off as very intellectual very sincere, very loyal mask. Someone is just cold and malicious. That's all it is. She sees the Queen of Swords attribute in you as well, but you're more you're genuine as a Queen of Swords. She's not. You're not mis you're not manip you're not using your mental to manipulate people because you have no need to do that. People that are not sincere are the ones that have to manipulate other people's thoughts in their mental to get things to go in their favor. Anytime you have to pull tricks to get something to go your way, it's probably not meant for you. Yeah, every time you got to pull tricks to get things to go your way, it's probably not meant for you. It is not meant for you. You need to do some soul searching, but they don't want to do that. That's too much work to do. That requires you having to look at that person in the mirror and accept that there's an illusion going on in your life that you have created. You're living under some type of illusion that you need to let go of. These kind of people, they don't want to do that. It's too much. So they commit themselves to being thieves, sneaking around, okay? Trying to steal other people's energy and things like that. But they can't. Okay? Yeah. They can't. This chapter is over. I'm telling you, it's over. And they're, and they're going to keep trying, honey. Even though it's over, they're going to keep trying. You've put an end to this chapter. Someone is going through some type of ending as well. Like, you are being set free, which is ending this chapter for you. And you're taking action and moving on with your life. But someone does not want you to end this chapter, so they're betraying you in some way. Interfering with your growth, your resources. This is what they want to do. They want to put an end to you, put an end to your resources. They betray you. If you were supposed to have some type of promotion, they interceded, they, they intervened. They said, don't give it to this person. They don't know what they're doing. I'm telling you the guys honest truth. Someone interfered with a promotion that was supposed to come to you because she's jealous. And this is someone older than you. She does a lot of tricks, pulls a lot of tricks behind the scenes. She's a joke. Someone didn't age properly. Someone did not age properly. Her mental is, in, it says insecurity. If you could open this woman's brain and look in there, insecurity would be written all over there in little fonts. Is that I am insecure, I am insecure, I am insecure, 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 insecure. It's all there is in her head. But she uses that insecurity to manipulate people. Someone has mastered how to present themselves to be someone of respect and of high honor. But she's a S-H-I-T show beneath the surface. 
and she doesn't like the fact that you are balanced, you're healed, you're gifted, but she does a lot of manipulation and things like that. She's intimidated by you. This is your energy. She's intimidated by you. All of these people, this is why part of the reason why they're going through this. Why they took action against you. Insecurities, intimidation, jealousy, greed. Okay, they say, why do you get to have everything? Why do you get yeah, a fighting? Why do you get to have everything? Why do you get to have love? Why do you get to have success? Why do you have to get have to, why do you have to um why do you get to have this? Why do you get to have that? Just a bunch of why why whys that has nothing to do with them. And they'll have they'll have to keep trying to figure that out until they die, because that's not coming from you. The answers are not coming from you. Because you don't care. The, that woman, I told you, wants to pick a fight with you. They're all fighting behind the scenes. They are all fighting behind the scenes. Okay? It went from sunshine, drinking mocha frappes, and, you know, going out to get drunk together and things like that, driving home, to now fighting. It says she knows. He knows. We can't go in and deceive this person. They know too much. This person is gifted. We have to keep trying to hide this person. And you're standing your ground. You're watching. And it's like, I wish. Yeah, I'm telling you. This is all they do. Is to cause stagnation. That's all. That's the, that's the only tactic they have now. We're going to keep causing stagnation in this union coming together. We're going to keep causing stagnation in this platform growing. We're going to keep causing stagnation in this business, in this product being seen by people. We don't want people buying their product. We don't want people to know that we are low vibrational and insecure behind the scenes. And we go out of our way to destroy other people's livelihoods because we can't have that. We're not able to manifest anything for ourselves. So we destroy other people's uh, uh blessings in lives that they're manifesting you're going to be exposed either way everybody has their day in court so whether it's today or tomorrow you're all going to be exposed every last one of you okay so you're standing your ground and they're still here trying to cause stagnation for you and you're not paying these people any, any mind. I'm telling you, they're interfering with justice. There's a woman in here going through some type of karma. And she don't want to deal with it. You got to deal with it, honey. I'm telling you, she don't want to deal with it. She's rejecting it. She was expecting things to go in her favor. This could be someone's wife or mother. People may be distancing themselves from her. They're fighting with her behind the scenes. I said distancing themselves from her and the Eight of Cups came out. They're distancing themselves from this woman. Too much has been revealed about her. And she's going through some type of horrible karma. Because she knows she, she likes to manipulate and interfere with other people's livelihood. And then your angels step in. And they'll let on. Yeah, we don't think so. Your, your, your determination to being malicious is it's real interesting. If only you were that determined to your own future, to healing yourself, improving yourself, this would be wonderful. This would be wonderful. Yeah. They're stepping in to make sure you get what you want. They are stepping in to make sure you get what you want. I'm telling you to ensure your victory. Someone is seeing you as very logical. When they met you, they said, oh, this idiot is, is naive as heck. They don't know how to put two and two together. They said you were a two plus two, not knowing what the F it is, B kind of person. And then they F around and found out that it's not so. They messed up really bad. They messed up really bad. 
Someone saw that you were hardworking and committed to your craft and things like that, and they still took action against you to interfere with your growth. And now they're going through some type of karma. They're going through karma. Okay? So some of you, you may be partnering up with a king of wands. Uh-huh. You may be partnering up with a king of wands. Honey. There's one in here. This person does a lot of manipulation. He knows how to play with people's mental. Someone may be manipulating a whole group behind the scenes. Just so they can find the truth out. Can you blame them? These are friends and families. Maybe someone wanted to give you some type of offer and the friends and family stepped in not knowing he, him not knowing they were jealous of you. Lied. And he felt because he was hearing it from everybody, it meant that it was true. Lies. Lies. They manipulated him. So now he's returning a favor. He's returning the favor to them. He's returning a favor. He's manipulating them too. He said, oh, we can all play that game. Two can play that game. And it's a tower. They weren't expecting this. They weren't, I just heard they weren't expecting him to be still interested in you after everything they've done. Yeah. I'm telling you. She's not going nowhere. Whatever action this woman took to bring you some type of ending, it led to a downfall for her. She's going through some type of change. Like, a, like the divine stepped in. She's, she thought she was going to have victory over you, basically. And it's not going that way. Someone is very bitter. Very bruised. She may have... This may be like one of those people that pay people behind the scenes, law enforcement officers and things like that. To make things go in their favor. Someone refuses to self-actualize. They refuse to self-actualize. But that's what she needs to do. All of them. That's what they need to do. The ones that are still participating in this group, you need to self-actualize. Try to figure out why it is you're a part of something so huge, but it's not fruitful. Why? 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 You got to ask yourself, why do I need these people's permission to do anything? Why do I need their validation? Why do I care so much? Because you've been programmed to be that way. Some of you are in things you don't even understand what you're a part of. But because you have common hate for someone else that has done nothing to you, you're going to keep going. This practitioner is not looking good for him. It's not looking good for him. This is one of those misogynistic people. They feel like a woman has her place. He has his men have their place. His mindset though is dangerous. Something is like his mental is shaky. This man's ultimate goal is to destroy your independence, your self-sufficiency. He does not want you being self-sufficient. He thought he was going to be able to trap you with him so you could be dependable on him, depending on him. But you're being set free. You are being set freed. You're going to be able to work in peace, connect with your soul tribe. Someone got paid behind the scenes to block your new beginning. Block your abundance. This is what they do. They go ahead of you wherever you're going to pay people so that they don't give you an offer. 
and it's not ending in their favor. Anyone that accepted the offer is not ending in their favor. It's not going well for them. And they know that you know. They thought because you didn't receive some type of offer that meant things was done for you. You still took charge and created a whole path for yourself. You was like, I'll go somewhere else. I don't need no offer from you. So they thought they had limited your options. Go this way, go this way. You said, I don't want either. I'm going straight. I'm going straight. And it caused some type of rift between all of them. They don't know what you're up to. They don't know what's going on, what opportunities you have going on, because now they're not able to block it. They've been telling people that you're not fruitful, you're not uh, real, you're not genuine, you're disingenuine, basically. Nobody wants to work with you. You're stuck. You're all kinds of stuff. And people are about to see the truth that it was a lie the whole time. Someone told people you were uneducated. You were retarded. You were mentally unstable. This is what they told people. They wanted people to see you as them because that's what they are. Mentally unstable. Have nothing to offer. Does nothing but manipulation. So they wanted people to see you that way. And now people are about to see the truth. That they lie. And they're going to have a lot of questions coming their way. And they better have the answers. They lied. Someone got their child involved in something that is about to bite the both of them in the behind. Someone may be serving some time. Someone's going to be losing a whole lot, like their business or something. Because they invade people's privacies and things like that. And someone thinks that maybe shutting down something is going to cover their end. It's not. And I don't know what this is they're shutting down. It's not. It's not. Someone is used to invading people's privacies. And I think they think that maybe shutting, I don't know what it is, a program down. Uh, I don't know if it's a company down. It's going to protect them from going to jail or from facing any type of legal consequences. It's not. Your phone calls have been being recorded. Everything you've been doing has been being recorded. So anything you deactivate, Anything you shut down is too late. Everything was being recorded and viewed. Just like you were invading someone's privacy, your privacy too. They were invading it, except theirs was legal. Yours was illegal. So someone was walking around thinking, oh, let me see. Let's say you had like a uh, let's say you had like a Samsung phone. Someone broke into it, and they was monitoring everything you were doing. And you maybe had a screenshot of something they did, or an email, or something like that. Let's say they then, they then went and shut down that phone, not realizing you had already sent those screenshots to the right companies or the right person, or you sent sent it to another device. It's still the proof is still out there. Is what I'm hearing. The proof is still out there. So someone thinks that maybe because they shut down a phone or whatever, maybe shutting down a business, I don't know what this is, that they're in the clear. You're not, like your phone, sir, ma'am, your phone was being monitored. Your phone calls, emails, text messages, everything. My eyes keep being drawn to the wheel of fortune communications, right? Phone calls, emails, text messages, anything you can think of, it was being monitored the whole time. So whatever you shut down or you're going to shut down, it's too late. You have problems coming in and it does not look like it's going to be in your favor. You have problems coming in. All the justice cards are here are in the reverse. The justice, the chariot, 
in the reverse. It's not going in your favor. And this is divine intervention. Someone thought they were slick. You weren't slick enough. You weren't slick enough. Someone has been doing this for a long time. A long time. But they went a little bit too far this time around. And they're not able to hide their tracks. Okay? Okay. So we have two coming together. Success, abundance, manifestation. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. 21, 3, celebration, abundance, new alliances, genuine friendships coming together, right? You are highly created with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. Nine, completion, something is done. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. 1910 completion again. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you deserve. I am a pioneer. I said something about a masculine trying to put an end to someone's independence, right? And here it is. Independence and self-sufficiency. What the heck? Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. So whoever you are, collective, whoever this message resonates with, these are two qualities that are very important to you. And you've had someone or a group of people behind the scenes trying to temper with that and bring your independence and self-sufficiency to an end. It's not happening. They're the ones going through endings. They're going through endings. You're being set free. They're being bonded. But your chapter with these people are over. Over. O-V-E-R. Over. Okay? Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.